Good evening. Tonight we are talking about efforts to legalize marijuana here in the state of Tennessee. We have uh, Kevin Caldwell joining us from the Marijuana Policy Project, a lobbying group on the issue. We're going to get back to the phone lines real quick here, Kevin. Uh, we have Raymond hanging with us, being patient. Raymond, go ahead. Thank you for hanging in there. Hey. Yeah, thank you. The caller before me kind of answered some of my questions, but I think if drinking is legal, that marijuana ought to be legal. And is uh, is Kevin had him a little cannabis today too? <laughs> no, I have not. <laughs> Raymond, you got anything else for us tonight? Ma'am. Do you have anything else for us tonight? No, that's it. Thank okay, you. Okay, thank you, Raymond, for calling in. We're going to go right to Barry here. Uh, Barry, go ahead. Thanks for being with us tonight, Barry. Yes, I hope you give me the same respect that you did Mike when he's talking, 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 talking. <laughs> uh, usually you hang up on me in that because I'm a straight-talking man that tells the pure truth of things. Uh, and talking in a manner... Uh, you're talking to a man back in the hippie days, long-haired, hippie-looking fella. And the thing about it is, it's like this. Yes, I should know a, quite a bit about drugs and alcohol because I was on them at one time in life until God saved my soul. And by when God saved my soul, it means I got to speak uh, the straight-out truth about things. And yes, and it's just like this. Yes, with marijuana, the preemptive thing that will take place with marijuana is this. They'll lace it with angel dust, with acid LSD, you name it, they'll lace it with it and everything, and uh, smoke it and partake of it. Now, the thing about it is, is this. As a person that is taken and bound to tell the truth before God, this man is wrong in what he's doing. And I have a thing to ask both of you, if you'll permit me to take and get to that point. It's just like this. It's a, years ago, I was called hippie and everything else, by all that long hair and everything else, and et cetera. I was an alcoholic also. I know about these things. And when you take and do this to Tennessee, you're destroying people. You got doctors and all these things that have been taking putting opioids out there for a long, long time, which I've been against. And the thing about it is, is this is what now you're trying to do is put marijuana out there to take and with lace it with all of these drugs and that. Now, just so that you may know uh, to that man in the white shirt, there was a time back in the 40s and 50s or so that our government took and did experiments on veterans on a manner with uh, all types of drugs to see how they could take and uh, find out how to use them in warfare and other things. And oh, by the way, VA used to be in, in part of it. I know because I'm, I'm a son of a man that was uh, used as a guinea pig after World War II on it. Now, the thing about it is, is this. Either you want the truth or you don't want the truth. And I would say to all the Republicans and, and whoever else, if you vote to put this in Tennessee, I would recommend to all people to proclaim the Almighty God to take and not vote for none of you in that. And this is what I'd say to both of you, young man young woman, it's just like this. If you ain't never tuck and been on drugs and everything, how do you know anything about what they do and what they don't do? You're talking to a man that's old, that's a veteran, that was a drug and an alcoholic, and I do know, and I give reverence to God for taking, giving, uh, saving my soul and delivering me from these things, and now you want to allow these are people. We got people going all over the places on drugs. It ought to be taken in the reversal, trying to help these people that's on drugs to get off of them and money spun on them. All so right, I'm Barry. asking both of you, have you ever done drugs? Barry. Yes. Okay, I've let you rattle on. I think that we have got your point. Can I let Kevin speak now? Go right ahead, ma'am. Okay. Thank you, Barry, for calling in. Go ahead and listen to your TV. I'm late. Kevin, respond. There was a lot there, Kevin. Oh, no, no, certainly. And I respect Barry's opinion. And this is a, a topic that is divisive and not everybody sees it the same way I do. And and that's and that's fine because that's what makes this country great is everybody's allowed um, to espouse their, their opinions. And... Uh, the fact of the matter is, is that Barry was concerned about cannabis coming into Tennessee. Um, 
It's already here. Um, uh, in 2019, 17,500 Tennesseans were arrested for cannabis possession. 42% of all drug arrests in Tennessee are, um, are small amounts of cannabis. It costs millions and millions, millions of dollars to the court systems, to, uh, uh, to in the whole criminal justice system to process those 17,500 fellow citizens. Um, and actually, Barry gave a very good reason why we should regulate cannabis, because with the underground economy, with the illicit marketplace, you are at the mercy of whatever, if somebody did want to um, alter the cannabis, if they wanted to spike it with something. So, um, and, and, and as for his concern about opiate use, what we've seen in states with robust medical programs is, is that opiate use drops. Is it the silver bullet? No, it's not. But what some patients are able to stop using opiates to deal with their chronic pain, but a lot, a, a lot of patients are able to severely cut back on uh, the amount of opiates that they take to deal with their pain. But I respect the fact that Barry has a different vision um, than I do, and uh, you know, I'm always, always glad to hear the other side of the argument. Let's keep going on the lines. They are lit up right now. Uh, Robbie is on the line. Robbie, go ahead. Hey, Carrie. Hi there. Go ahead. Um, I'd like to say what uh, my little piece about this. Sure. Uh, I think it ought to be legalized recreationally as well as mer as uh, medically. I mean, it's here. It's not going nowhere. It's been proven time and time again. But we, what we got to do is figure out what to spend the tax money on mm. to get this passed, guaranteed to pass. And I think it ought to be legalized medically and recreationally, and the millions of dollars of taxes that it brings in fund the state Medicaid program, the expansion of the state Medicaid program, and... Uh, maybe even help people that have regular insurance a little bit with their insurance mm. and open up some of these rural hospitals that have been closing. But that's just my say. Robbie, thank you for calling in. I do want to talk to you, Kevin, about in states where marijuana has passed, whether it be medically or recreationally or both, where do we see that money going? Every state does it differently. Um, you know, depending on the priorities of the legislature, depending on the priorities of the voters. Um, was the bill passed by a ballot initiative process where the voters could, where the voters let their voice be heard with how that money gets spent or was it done legislatively? Um, you can, and like I said, every, every state does it differently, but you know, there's certainly, uh, I think what's an important fact would be is that with if with Tennessee was to adopt an adult use and a medical program, you could tax the medical program at a very low rate or almost, or maybe not tax the medical cannabis and then properly tax the adult use um, market so that um, the, the state is and the state and the localities, uh, whether the county, the city and the state all get uh, the benefits uh, of those tax dollars. Um, I mean, we've seen some states where it goes towards, um, uh, in fact, Jason Powell's house resolution that he is um, putting forward in, mm -hmm. in Tennessee would go towards, uh, he would want the 4% on that medical, um, on the medical bill that would tax, I'm sorry, that would tax the, uh, the medical cannabis to go towards helping veterans and their health, their health care. So every state gets to make that own decision and I certainly hope that as this conversation continues to evolve in Tennessee the voters let their legislators know where they would want to see that tax revenue go all right I want to squeeze in one more call before we have to take another commercial break Linda you are on the line the floor is yours okay uh, I strongly disagree with your previous caller a couple of calls back uh, I think it should be legal both uh, medical and recreation it's not as bad as alcohol or not any worse it would be revenue for the state and also the uh, controlled uh, it would be controlled I mean it wouldn't have all these bad 
things added to it if it was legal. And um, also, it's certainly not as bad as the opioids mm. that people get on and stay on forever. Anyway, that's my opinion. <laughs> well, thank you, Linda. It's good to hear from you tonight. We appreciate you calling in. I have to squeeze in a quick break. When we come back, we still have Chris and Carol on the line and probably some more folks who want to call in as well. Stay with us. We're coming right back.